Hey Julia, you wanna hold Bogey? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. So when Bogey gets to meet a new person, I have him step up and then I give them a treat and I treat it like a trick so that he doesn't get too overstimulated because he is a cockatoo. They get very easily stimulated. He's trying to do everything. Yeah, so it's time for my that? treats. <laughs> I always tell people don't pet him. He doesn't like to be pet unless he's in a certain mood and especially by strangers. He's not really a fan of petting. And the worst, people actually will still try. I'm just like, <laughs> and then he bites them. And then I'm like, oh, I wonder why he bit you. Hey everyone, today is a very, very special day. I'm here with Julia, an amazing artist who is going to be painting Bogey a mural right next to his cage so he can feel a little more California vibey. He's a SoCal guy. He's a SoCal guy. <laughs> Julia is very much inspired by nature, which made me reach out and see if she could do an amazing piece inside of our house. And I just wanted to introduce her and have her tell a little bit about her story because it's very inspirational. Yes, uh, my name is Julia, uh, Julia Francis. You can find me on Julia Francis underscore art. I'll link it all. On Instagram. I am a California girl at heart, but I lived in Tennessee for most of my life. So at 17, I came to California and pretty much pursued everything that I ever could have dreamed to pursue um, in terms of arts. I, I had always made it my mission to make things, be a creative, but make sure that all of the things that I were making were based around things that I truly believed in. And so all of the pieces that I make, specifically the Sumi ink drawings, um, I work with ink on paper, and then I've transferred those to walls now as a way to bring nature into the, uh, the home. All of my works are um, either trees or flowers. I make them because I have always been surrounded by trees growing up in Tennessee. I mean, there's trees everywhere. You cannot get away from them. And I don't know why you would, but it's it's different in comparison to, you know, LA, a big mm -hmm. city like LA where we have trees, but it's like, there are more houses than trees here. And I just, I, I've always been drawn to, towards nature and that it always made me feel better. And scientifically it is proven that yep. being within these environments truly does make you feel better. And I wanted to make sure that people were reminded by that because not only do we need nature like in abundance, it needs us as well. And we need to be able to take care of it and use its benefits and give it back what it gives to us. And so, um, that's why I'm creating these pieces on walls now because I want them to be good reminders of what it is, what it is and what it means to be surrounded by these things. Bogey's gonna yeah. be so stoked. Yeah, Bogey needs a, a tree. He so needs he a can, tree. He needs a tree so that he can he can perch on and uh, you know see the outside from the inside. Tell Emily, hey, we need to go outside because <laughs> <laughs> this tree is making me want to fly. You know mm -hmm. so. And we're gonna put a little perch in it so he's actually perched up in the tree, which I think is gonna be really cute. Mm -hmm. This is for Bogey, but it's also for Emily and, <laughs> and Scott as well because I love Sweet. them and I believe that they deserve this tree <laughs> just as much as Bogey does. So, <laughs> hopefully it brings light to everyone. Well, cool. I'm so excited to see how it goes and we're gonna take you guys along with us. <laughs> So before we get started, we're just taping everything up and then I'm opening up all of our windows and when I go to work, I'm gonna take bogey because birds' respiratory systems are super sensitive and paint can definitely be potentially fatal for parrots. So don't want that to happen. 